Post-racialism. What is post-racialism? Well, simply defined, post-racialism is thought of as a society in which race is no longer significant or important. Now, during this week, we're going to focus on this idea of post-racialism. And as we think about post-racialism, some of the questions that come to mind for me are really, what events in our history have brought about this idea? And what is the psychology of, or the psychology behind this idea? And really, how long has racism existed historically? And even, is it possible to live without racism? So these important questions that, that I think of when I think about the idea of post-racialism are, are some of the areas that I, I kind of want you guys to focus on during this week. So as we move toward understanding what post-racialism is, we're going to look at some key features. In particular, four key features. Number one is racial progress and transcendence, race-neutral universalism, moral equivalence, and distancing move. Now these four central ideas or these four central features are going to be the structure of our activity this week. So your task this week is going to be to define these four features. So within your assigned groups, you should be you you should define all four of these features. However, we're going to split your assigned groups up. So what's going to happen is at least two people in each group are going to define one of the four features. After the features are defined, would like I would like you to search out evidence of these central features in today's current society or, or in the media or on the internet or in literature or magazines. So any instances of these four features, go out and search for those. And then once the features are defined and you've found evidence of them, I'd like you to post those and we'll open them up for comments after that. So once all groups have defined these features, feel free to look at what the other groups have found and it's our hope that we'll open up a, uh, a good dialogue session where we can even dive deeper into what post-racialism really is.